Walker on the top, running through the block. Welcome back, y'all, to Bustello Talk. Oh, man! We got a good show for y'all today. I'm comedian Marcus McNeil. And I'm Cold Bunny, Erica Osha. All right, then. And we got a guest. We got a guest at Bustello Talk, man. We, we got a lot of people that like that like our show, that love our show. And they be like, you know what? I want to come on. I want to say what I want to say. And, got and, things to say. And, and, and get involved. So, I got a good friend of mine. State your name, my man. Omar. Merry Christmas. He's a man of many words. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, yo. Hold, hold up a minute. You want me to say my whole government? Well, no. I just wanted to say Instagram. Nah, it's all right. A? No, it's, it's Jimmy Crack Corn. Who cares? Okay. Right. How about that? Oh, Look, uh, so oh, sure. we about to get into it. Now, this one we talking about is threesomes. Like, we getting into threesomes this episode. All right? Uh, what do you feel about threesomes? And is it fair type? We going it's, it's kind of a vice versa, man, woman, woman, man type deal. We're gonna get into it. We're gonna get into it. But before we get into that, we wanna make we we, we want all our guests, because a lot of our guests got things they wanna say, a state, or uh, whatever, they wanna come on to maybe say something. So, oh, do you got anything or any questions and or any statements from any other shows that you see? You know, we also got somebody in the background, FYI. Go ahead, say something. Hey. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Do you got anything you want to say? That's uh, our audience. Either one of y'all got <laughs> audience. You got something to say, oh? Yeah, I want to touch on the uh, other show y'all had. All when, right. When you talked about the friend zone, can you have a friend? Uh huh. As a man, and she look good, and you don't want to sleep with her. So, what's your thoughts? Uh huh. What's your opinions? Your concerns? I don't. I really don't think you can. Mm. Mm. Do he speak for the mess? Or do he speak for himself? Now, why you say you don't think you can? Because I have a post on my Instagram page, and it says, if he's your friend, text him that you want to fuck right now. See what he says. Well, Bam! Well, I'll be... Well, mm. can, can we go to this post on your Instagram? Because you never, you know, expressed your Instagram name so we can go to see. He's... he's Okay. If you have a friend, so basically all you chicks is <clears throat> talking like, oh, he just my friend. Text him right now. He just my friend. Come, Fellas, lick I, this I, I, wop. I, I, uh oh, I'm about to start some shit. <laughs> I'm about to start some shit. I'm about to start some shit. All you chicks always talking that he just my friend. Fellas, tell your chick that say, oh, that nigga just my friend and text that nigga, come get this pussy now. Matter of fact, and see what he said. I'm going to text all my friends right now. You are about to, these niggas happened. is going to send you dick. I'm about to text they, my friends. They, I don't need a thousand people. I'm going to text, would you fuck me? Let's see what they see, say. See, that's not the good question to ask. Mm -hmm. No? No. Don't, and you have to do don't it. just go straight to it? No. You gotta, you, you got to do it in a way. Because the first thing he's going to say so is, gotta, why are you asking me that? I got to do it in a way. It's not like a serious way? question. It's not like a like serious a question. Way? You got to just oh, ask. like not. So what if I say, can I come sit on your face? Bam! And what you think he's going to say? I don't know. That's the we waiting to get the response. Take every seat. That's what we. That's what we waiting to see. And they gonna say take every seat real quick. Hmm. Shout out to what say, friend of mine first. am I gonna text? That's funny hmm. as hell. Real quick, shout out to my brother Finesse for the t-shirt for the apparel. Yeah, me. Shout out to you. I'm gonna tag him. Now, so so they they doing all that. I, I feel like I feel like it's gonna go left for y'all. So y'all gotta stop saying. I feel that like this. Now we don't have any male friends. <laughs> I feel like this, and this is what I said to, to, to Erica. If if the if the nigga wanna fuck you, y'all not friends. If you ever fucked a nigga before, y'all are not friends. Y'all are associates. You hear me? That's that's just kinda like, well no, you can't be friends with somebody that you fucked before. Depending on I don't know. See, it's, you, it's, it's you're tricky. most likely to get a friend out of that than right. a bad bitch you hanging around with every day. Mm. You just basically waiting for your opportunity. Maybe that Eddie Murphy joke yeah, back so in the day, the sitting time. in the glass joke. Right. Yeah, well, you that So, dick. basically what y'all saying is, all my male friends, even though we haven't had sex, still wants to fuck me? If they, have they, had they, had they offered prior? No. Had they came to you with that before? 
No. At all? I, don't I mean, know. they did tell me I was sexy. I okay, did. Damn, I did. I it. did have a friend that said I don't give a fuck about that friend shit. I would take you all the way there. Okay, that's it. So yeah, they will fuck you right now. Okay. All right. So we are gonna move on. We are gonna move on. Now, let's get to this threesomes. Now, how do you feel about threesomes? Now we know men, men, nigga, they fantasy, nigga, yeah, but they dream men. about. Though I heard, and this lonely, this is mainly mm-hmm. island dudes, and I, you know, my, my, I, I got about two Trinidadian friends, hmm. and this nigga, I, mean, I, I don't, I don't need two girls. I could just have one. I think that plays an insecurity factor. So, oh, are man. you saying that the island dudes are is very gayish? No, they're very insecureish. I told him he's insecure oh. and possessive. He's the most. He's Trinidadian. Like I said, I know a few Trinidadian Trinities in my life. Them nigga, I'm like, yo, you're bugging. So you telling me she said she wanna go eat some other pussy? You won't let her. First of all, why she asking me about eating pussy? Okay, we already you know what I'm talking about. So they wouldn't do a threesome with two girls and him. He would more likely do one with two guys. No, he just wouldn't do it. Oh, he wouldn't do one at all. He wouldn't do it. I don't advise you to do that okay. with your, your main girl anyway. Hmm. All right. That would have to be side piece action. So like this, fuck that. So like this is a threesome here, two guys and one girl. No, uh, y'all kind of no, like sandwich no, no, no. me. That's right that's now. that's the next question. What Uh-oh. what do y'all feel about two dudes and a girl? Like if if your chick mm. come to you and be like, "Yo, I need, I want to do a threesome I for want another two piece of dicks. dick." What would you do? Because I'm not eating no pussy. Break up with her immediately. What? Why is that? But she's probably already fucking somebody else. She just want to implement it into your relationship. Oh, you see? Yeah. But is she, though? Is she? Maybe not, she not, just wants another dick. Just like you want another pussy. Is she not going to want another dick? Is she not going to want another dick? Just like you want another pussy when you have your threesome. Mm. How is it fair for you to have two girls and not fair for me to have two guys? Let me tell you one thing, though. Anytime another nigga is ravishing your chick, it's going to be different. Especially... <laughs> No, especially when you've been with her for a long time, the sex is not going to be the same if, if, if it's new. So if you got another nigga, that's just like a chick cheating mm. on you, right? Oh. It's like you imagine it like, God damn, like this nigga probably wild that shit out. Mm. So you want to sit and watch another nigga wilding your shit out mm. while you watch it? But I'm supposed to watch you wild another bitch out? Uh. That's different. It's not. Is that's it? Different. It's not. It's so he's you gonna, have a dick, he's so you're supposed to put it in. He's going to be half in front of his girl then, if that's the case. No, I'm going to equal opportunity. Then not just, just throw the whole threesome away. Listen, let's, let's eliminate me out of this. Just I'm throw not, the whole threesome I'm away. I refuse to <laughs> throw the whole threesome away. I refuse to throw the whole threesome away. I'm not <laughs> just throw that. the whole threesome away. So, so you will have sex with two guys? I'm not having a threesome at all. Period. So I think it's, I'm not eating pussy and I'm not getting fucked by two guys. Two guys? I would. But you, would you have sex with a chick? Two chicks? Okay. Now, most of the time, the chicks that does... that She's trisexual. Well, Merry Christmas. Most chicks that do this, of course, like other chicks, but you don't like other chicks. So I'm not eating pussy. Okay, I'm so... I'm filming, I'm filming something. Let me call you right back. So, so... <laughs> so, most of the time... So, most of the time, this comes off with the I'm chick right liking right another chick. So, but if you got an Erica who don't fuck with chicks, I get the... They don't want to do it type but shit. But I right? never said I wouldn't let a chick eat my vagina. I'm just not eating vagina. So you would have a two a threesome with your man with another chick? If she's eating my vagina, yeah. I'm not eating hers, though, so I don't see what fun it would be for her. Because I'm not eating her back. It's fun for me. I yeah, but a lot of people do that, though. A lot of chicks... I wouldn't do a threesome out of a period. But if that was, like, the case, okay, I'm doing one. I'll have another girl there who's going to eat my vagina, but I'm not eating her. So it would just be like, I don't know. I don't, I don't but wouldn't but call your it nigga a threesome. Could, but your nigga can fuck the other chick. Sure, he can. It's a fucking threesome. He can. Because me, I, I don't like threesomes, but I would want to watch my man fuck another girl to you, see how he performs. Like, I want to know if he's going to perform with her like he performs with me. She's the most confusing freak, yeah, not freak on the fucking planet. I'm not a jealous girl. What, what am I getting jealous for? He done fucked somebody before me. So why am I going to be jealous that he fucking somebody now? But you're watching it. It doesn't matter. I'd rather watch it than him doing it without me knowing. Like, I mean, I think he's going to do it without me knowing anyway, so. 
I mean, I'm not a jealous type of person. I can watch my man have sex with somebody else and not feel in the way. And if he fucking her right, he, it may turn me on. I don't know. Like, I never experienced it saying. before. She's like a trampoline, the young nigga. She, like, <laughs> I never experienced no. it before. <laughs> so it goes back to me not watching porno. I don't watch porno. So, you know, it's like... I don't want it. But see, it's weird. She's like, you know, this is it's fucking bag of nuts. My cloth so is quite like different. That's all. Like, they don't damn. make my material anymore. We ain't this shit. Now, I, I, I can personally, because he said, I won't use my main... I'll, I'll three some of the shit with my main chick as another chick. Okay. He, I, he saw a side chick action. Now, why is that side piece action? Oh, why wouldn't that be main chick action? With another, you and another chick, your chick and another chick. Yeah, because you don't really, especially if she's a mother, your kids. That's yeah, you don't want to get involved with that shit with your girl. But what if she presented to you like, hey, babe, you know what? I want to have a threesome. Then I got a question: Who's my main chick? Nah, this nigga, you what? gotta stop, bro. Where you come from? <laughs> nigga is okay. This is now you. You, you, you halfway freaky? Yeah. You can't, you got to go all the way freaky. He's from Hackensack. I'm, I'm not halfway freaky, I'm just saying. I don't know, but see, that's that's like right it feels like you're a little confused about this, this I'm not confused. Mm-hmm. You don't, do, so, so, do you think, do you consider it insecure? No. But I just, when I think of a, a wife or my main chick, I don't think about none of that shit. I think about a homemaker, I think about... So uh, you don't want yeah, your you wife... Or your main chick to be freaky. Yeah, with me. With oh, me just with you. You don't want to share that freakiness with anyone else. No, that's side piece action. If I, I don't have a side piece, but okay. if I had one, hmm. that's side piece. Now, action. what if she was your side piece and y'all did all this freaking off and now she's your wife and now she's feeling like she's missing that, something? That, that would never happen, though. Oh, so you would never make your side piece your wife? No. That's a whole nother episode. I don't agree happened. with this nigga what so much. That is a whole nother episode. I don't, I don't agree with this nigga at all. Fuck what he talking about. Let me tell you tall people shit. Get you a short nigga. Let me tell you, hold on. Let me tell you, let me tell you something. I'm listening. You know why they call the main course the main course? I don't know. Tell me. Because it costs the most. So if it's the lamb or the stuffed chicken or the steak, the main course is what costs the most. Right, that's the shit that attracts you to that place, the main course. He's right? so not really. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Because no, I'm you not. still want to have a sides are cheese. great. Macaroni and cheese is one of my favorite dishes, but it's not the main. But course. macaroni and cheese could be a main dish as well. For who? It is an entree. It has protein. Oh, it is considered an entree. That's the main uh, dish. Uh, 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 no. So macaroni and cheese is one of those those second. those items that could be on the side or the main course. Goes back like to me saying, potatoes, then. "Okay, that's String a side. That's a side. No, I want, sides. I want my stuffed chicken separate from me. You chicken. take me out to eat. I want an appetizer, entree, and dessert. Got it? No, I get it. But what okay. I'm saying is, my you main can't have course, one without the other. My main course is not doing the shit. It's not going to be mixed in with the mash and the string beans. You know the sides. What they sloppy. bring out first? Appetizers, if you get those right. <laughs> and then they bring out." The entree, which is the main course, right? And then what comes after that? Dessert. Just or the extra sides. I'm not doing that with my okay. wife. Okay, right. here's my here's my opinion on that. This is why, and I'm not, you know. Not this not is why I feel money. like y'all be stunting or the chicks be cheating. All right. <laughs> I'm not I'm not talking about this. This is chicks be cheating. For, for, for the simple fact that too. because chicks are savage, yeah, cheating, cheating, cheating. I'm just saying on a nigga perspective. On the, from the female kind of perspective, rather, why are you stunting somebody else's growth? You want to see my I hate you. Everybody's over this goddamn pillow. Why are you stunting? <laughs> I'm put a whole emoji right here of a sausage. Yo, why? Why are you stunting somebody else's life? I feel like this. What if, like, you can't. If you can't be all that you can be with your spouse and or your lover, then what the fuck is the point? I partially agree. Chime in. Chime in. You think having a threesome is being all you It can doesn't be? matter. If that's what she wants, then that's what she should we be. We rocking out together. Okay, what if the threesome is with another nigga? Be all you can be with her. Listen, right now, we're talking about this in particular situation. No, I'm asking you a question. I, 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 it, hold it, on, I'm asking the question. It's, it's freak, but then you want to judge pro- I don't understand. No, 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 no. What if the threesome is with another nigga? It can be possible, possibly, for a lot of people. Are you doing that? It can be possible, possibly, for a lot of people. Are you doing that? It can be possible, possibly, for a lot of people. It's maybe. 
Okay. Depends. You said okay. maybe. So is is this two you guys? Said maybe. Yeah. Is this two guys and one girl? If you it, what, what's so, the so issue? No, 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 hold on, hold on. No, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to know. What is the main issue with a threesome with two guys and one girl? What is the main issue? His thing is it, it, your thing Let is, him speak. Okay. You talking to me? Yes. If, the, if there's no John, first of all, touching. I want to see no other nigga John, period, in the room with me. Nigga, you ain't never ran train when you was younger. Yeah, and I, I did. Yo, actually, I don't want to say nothing controversial on your show. <laughs> you ain't never ran train it's when you was younger. No, I did. No, I did. I, no I, judgment, I, I yeah. bro. No, I don't want the LBGT BLT niggas hitting so, your phone, so, man. So, stop it. Niggas, niggas ran train when we was younger, bro. All right, bro. Consistently, we ran I train see. on the neighborhood. What? It don't. I get that. I get that part. Okay. But seeing okay. another man's and guess what? Guess what though? Guess what though? We watch porn. Guess what though? I watch porn. That's right. A, that's what I was that's saying. That's a little weird, bro. It's a little weird. We so then it should be weird that, watching uh, porno. Watching another guy fuck a girl. I, I, listen, I'm not watching porn. Oh, you don't watch porn. Okay, no. high five. I don't okay. watch it either. But yes. what I'm saying to you is this. You want the chick that you live with, you okay with another nigga, butt-ass nigga. You talk about the nakedness. <laughs> what if he got his clothes it's on? No, it's no. What if his clothes on and his peewee is just out the boxers? Yo, bro. So you cool that's what that little with being for, in a right? room with your chick, which that's her fantasy, letting you be in her mouth with another nigga in her vagina. When you say it like that, you this know. Is so, so <laughs> So when, you, when you say it like that, it, does, it sounds kind of oh, like where you from, bro. There's it's, it's a lot of aggression here. Nigga, nigga, nigga. Chime in. I've been in a relationship with my chick cheating on me, bro. Down below. And after that, I didn't want to fuck with her no more. Like, I can, you can't even, like, nah, bro. I'm not doing that. Just bro. like that? Nah, that's not. Nah, I mean, I, I understand that. Oof. But let's let's stay on, so let's stay man. on real quick. Let's stay on. That's the topic. No, but let's stay on the female one. Like, no, 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 no. It's more. I get you. I get your point. I get. We got that. We got that sure angle. That's cool. I'm trying to understand if your chick wants another chick. That's eat. That's lighter. Now there's just just two females. There's no other dicks involved. Why is that a problem? I just don't want to do that with my main chick. But what if also, she really wants to do it? you just not with it at all. With my from main, your main chick. chick. Right. So so you. So now, what me? if your main chick go and have a threesome with three girls because you. Didn't want to do it, and she presented it to you. You said no, but she felt like she needed to get it out, so she wouldn't have one with three girls. How you feel about that? And I found out. Yes. No, she probably wouldn't be my main chick no more. Oh. All right. So okay. he's the guy that if my girl cheat, she's out of here. Mm -hmm. I'm different. Mm -hmm. You no, can do that. I've stayed when my girl cheated. Don't get it twisted. But this shit, and I tell people this all the time. People are like, oh, the more you go through the relationship, the stronger the relationship is. No, it ain't. Make it weaker. Mm. Oh, okay. It's making it very weak. Oh, the more you oh. go through what in a relationship? In a relationship, oh, the stronger we're strong. No, 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 no. As, 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 as far as cheating? I'm like, no, 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 just period in general. Like, period. the more you go through in a relationship, the word, the saying is, it makes it the relationship well, it, strong. Well, not if it's negative. Not if it's a bunch of fucking negativity. You know, <laughs> like, nigga, I'm going to beat your ass. Who you on the phone with? Yeah, nah, not a bunch Who of you negative. talking to? Not a bunch of negativity. Oh, who is this girl you sitting next to? You ain't telling me you was doing no show. Right. I'm probably going to get that. Unbelievable. But, but what I'm saying is this. At the end of the day, if I'm coming home to you, I don't want to know about you having threesomes and all that shit. Because that ain't why I picked you. Oh. To be a homemaker. Right. Right. So he's kind of old-fashioned. Old old kind of. Old-fashioned. Right. Kind of. Old-fashioned. Right. He want that old-fashioned lady who... Hair no, done all the no, time. No, 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 no. Clean. Marcus knows me. And he Her knows. clothes is neat. She looked like a yeah. kept woman. No, no, no. That's not his, his MO. No. He just, I understand his his mental and his, his, uh, his you know, stance on certain situations. So a WAP. I get it. A WAP is not enough to I be would. your main chick. All right, let me tell you something. You're raising my daughter. Okay. Okay. And I don't want my daughter having threesomes. Because, you know, nowadays... Because she, she's watching? But the daughter won't about? know that you're having threesomes. And if it's genetically inclined, the daughter already got it. If that's what you're insinuating. She's crazy. I'm just saying. She's crazy. <laughs> No, your I'm kids are not watching this situation. I didn't say the kids are watching. That's what I said. I'm just saying to him. Kids are watching more than you think they're watching, bro. Yeah, but if you're doing a threesome, I'm quite sure there's not going to so be nowhere near the house. Meet the and respect the sex with your wife, then. Meet and respectful since she's raising No, he wife. says she could be a Trust freak with him. You're using the word wife. Only him. Using that. <laughs> and 
what I'm saying to you is domestic partnership. No, what I'm saying to you is this, right? It ain't neat and respectful with her, but that's what me and her do one on one. Right, so she can right? be a freak with him. But what I'm saying is, but not in the street. You're raising my daughter, so subconsciously in my mind, I don't want that around. I don't even want that to be like nothing around that. All right, so that means you're not having sex with your <coughs> kid's mother while your kid is in the house sleep. That's what that means. Of course, of course. But that you don't want your daughter around yeah, that type I of stuff. Don't have a bunch of joke about that. Your kid is the biggest. Cat, He's contradicting. Yeah, contradicting. All the way. How? All the way. It's huh. contradictory. I don't, oh, just because Controlling. I don't want a threesome with my chick? No, we're not saying because Very you don't. Controlling. Not because you don't want a threesome, but you're saying you don't want your daughter around that. So that means you shouldn't be having sex in the house with her mother around her. She okay, can hear that. No, but it's still sex. I don't want kids to sleep in. Okay, they and, hear everything. But he should be living this the best life too me. because he's the male figure. <laughs> the daughter's looking up. Help! <laughs> Up on me. I, listen, <laughs> I, 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 I get it. I, I'm, just, I'm not. I'm trying to understand. I'm just confused. But that's your state, and you, you gotta probably got a lot of motherfuckers out there. Question. Yeah. 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 I, I don't agree with a lot of what feel. she's saying, but I be having women like she. Right. But I she bet you a lot of men feel the way I feel. <laughs> and and they, they want that fantasy outside their crib. They don't want to come it. home. No, they. So ultimately, so ultimately, what, what we're saying in in the sense is, females and males, you gotta choose who you with wisely. If you feel let all that shit out early, don't fuck with somebody. Like don't him. fuck with some. Don't, don't, no, no, you can fuck with that. Don't be a freak. Don't don't fuck we with can't somebody be a freak with each other. who don't allow you to be you thoroughly and, right. and get caught up with that person. So hold on, hold on, hold on. And then you gonna be fucking. You gotta have extra tongue and, and extra they, dicks and they, around they, to be a freak. No, listen. No, no, no. no. But no maybe, I'm not talking to you. Uh, but maybe that's. I'm talking their, to her right now. Maybe that's her level of freakness. Whatever her level no, of freakness is, is the level of freakness. Now that we're together, now I have to. Live this type of way. No, because, because I'm raising a kid and no, I'm no, your main course. No, 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 not no disrespect to you, but once I figure out in my brain that that's the way type of time you're in, you're not going to be my main chick. But what if you already have the kid with her? She was already your main chick, and now she presents no, no to you. No, those things don't happen. And they do happen. Let me tell you why. I always call anytime I go out on a first date. You know what I call it? The interview. We had mm. a show about but that. But you need a representative, yeah. though. You don't meet the real person on the first date. Sure don't. Uh, you never do. Hell yeah. No. <laughs> I got one to make sure that motherfucker's still recording, goddamn. I'm gonna fuck this show up. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it's never, it's it's never, it, it's rare. Eight times out of ten, it's the representative. Let me tell you something. Eight times out of ten. After the first it's 30 days. It's that rare two percent that you get the actual After person. the first 30 days, you're gonna find out who you're dealing with. Mm. You can mask it for a little while, Mm-mm. but you can't mask it for Mm-mm. long. If y'all don't, you don't really know somebody until you live with them, period. You can be dating somebody for a whole year, and when you live with them, you re-meet a new person. Listen. I here's, promise here's, you. Here's Listen. my thing. Listen. Here's what I do. Easily. Early. I talk about sex early. If you ain't... And some people evolve. If, if you ain't giving... If I know I can't do or be who I want to be with you, we're not even doing it. Mm-hmm. I'm wasting my time. I can jerk off of that. My opinion. I just feel like this as women... We evolve sometimes. Some women evolve mm-hmm. different ways. Like I'm not. Yo, I am not. Right now, my sex drive is really low. I don't 90%. know what it's gonna be five years from now. I may turn out to be a super freak five years from super now. Super freak. So if I'm married to you, because you felt like I was the one to be married to or the main one for you, mm. and now time has gone mm. and I'm evolving into something else because you do evolve. So if I evolve and feel like. You know what? Now I want to open my sexuality. But you're telling you me I can't. That's kind of unfair. That's kind of unfair. If you evolve, I don't want him. That's kind of unfair. If you evolve, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If you evolve to having other dicks in our bedroom, that is grounds for divorce. <laughs> Relationship done. <laughs> or you evolved, I have. So I could never just get this out of my system. Like I just want to have one threesome. Like I just, I can't. No, okay. I don't want to you know go. that means we go on a girls trip and get it done. <laughs> oh man, that's the real truth. Bing, ding, 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 yo, nasty ass Miami <laughs> ass Atlanta. No, no, Miami, no, no, not ass. Miami. But no, if I don't know, no, if no. I don't know, you don't go to Miami right? to have a hold threesome. On, hold on. Isn't it a crime if you didn't get caught for it? You go out the country. No, it's not. All right then. So it's I don't know. Crime. But if I know, it's a crime if you lie about it after getting caught. This is what I'm saying. I, that's okay. 
I'm, I'm all for the But truth. you don't go to Miami Justice to have a threesome, just a so you know. Way. You go out the country, not Miami. Like, step your game up. Step your game up. Wait, listen, okay. Chill, y'all crazy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I would, I would the leave in the bed. Now, do you wear condoms when having these threesomes? Damn! Mm. Are there condoms That's involved? That's the question to be asked. Are there condoms involved? Do you wear condoms with, with your, your threesomes? With your, with your, with your, with your side, side piece? Yeah. First of all, mm. if you wash your hands with gloves on, did you wash your hands? Hmm. If you put syrup on shit, is it pancakes? That's not the question. <laughs> what? Like, if you just... What? So, in other words, the question is: If you wash your well, hands with gloves, did you wash your hands? You wash the gloves on your hands. All right, then. So that means you ain't get no pussy if you wear a condom. Oh, so that means a no for you. That that that'll be a Randy no. Randy Jackson him. voice. That's a no for me. Though. That'll be a no for no him. For me. So that's what is, no what is it for you? A yay or nay? As far as condoms, yeah, during with, the threesome. With them, listen, if we got to find somebody, we can we can go go with. So do y'all take tests, STD testing before these three times, or you just yeah, take gonna, a chance? Yeah, we're going to do the old wax in the ear test. Uh, oh. Who the fuck got time for that? Well, f- ah, ha. well that's, now- a, that's not a threesome. That's a fucking contract. Now we're going into contract cliche. Like, come on, man. That's but the wax in the ear is not a good test because we have ear joke. pods going on. That you know, it's always joke. waxing it. Yeah, what I'm, I'm just- saying is that's too much work. We got to go get tested. And like, you don't need that. Much. So now you, you have this threesome without being so- tested and no condoms. And now you go home and fuck your... Simple. I'm not having a threesome. Don't put me into that. Yeah, I'm, I'm just saying happenstance. Yeah, this, is just a this is yeah, this is conversation. We're yeah. not saying you per se. But all the allegedly. scenario, right? The scenario that he gave allegedly. his woman can't have threesomes because when he chooses her, he chooses her because of the qualities, right? So now he done had a threesome with a side piece, then use no protection or got tested, and now he come home and have his casual sex with his wife, and now. Her cuckoo smells. Cuckoo, cuckoo. Men always talk about women cuckoo smelling, but they never take action for the blame I, I for figure, making it smell. Hmm. I smell fi- it. I figure it like this. Oh. The chick mm-hmm. more than likely is gonna pick. Cause you done gave female, me some new bitch so bacteria and got my pH balance off yes? the whack. The chick more than likely is gonna pick the in particular female, so she feels no. safe. With Not you. if it's his crazy. fucking threesome. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to make a statement real quick. Okay, then. With this whole pH shit. Okay, right? let's back let's in the talk days, about right? it. Back in the days, there was no problem with pH. It was. It's always oh, been a problem. I was smell that much bad coochie back in the days. It's always a problem. It's oh, no, always, no, no. no. P- P- that's when you P- got that balance has yeah. always that that been an issue for females. It's mm-hmm. just that. More females are in tune with it now. Nigga, that's we, why you're you ain't never still, you ain't never with Now you. we got things, Yanni Pearls, we got vaginal steams, we got the J shoes, we got all of this good natural herb stuff to take care of our unbalanced. That, back in pH. the day, we, that, that smell used to stay on your finger for a while. That wasn't natural. <coughs> if it's you bacteria. Still smell pussy three, it's <laughs> bacteria. Three hours later on your finger, you smell finger. It's not. It's bacteria. It wasn't and natural. yeast. So the vagina has so bacteria just, and yeast. Every day. Right. You have good bacteria, bad bacteria. When the bad bacteria outweighs the good bacteria, you get the smell. Damn. We just switched. We when you have yeast, and we had a, got a and it all goes yeah. together. Yeah. That means how you have the threesome part, that's what throws her off. That too. But this goes with having threesomes because when you go have a threesome because you're not Maybe getting tested and you're not, not using condoms, you're taking a dive into a right? cave and don't know what's right? in there. Maybe this, all the pH is, a lot of that shit comes from Drinking too much alcohol and letting niggas That's true. It comes from your up. diet. Yes, and it absolutely niggas, do listen, come from you your diet. Random niggas it comes you. from splacking off. Yes. You got yes. Random niggas dumping in you. It ain't even random. It could be your nigga who drinks and smokes cigarettes, weed, alcohol, should, and dumping you. It's our fault. Should we press I'm on? I'm not saying it's always your fault. Should we press I'm on just saying. this episode? Let me know if we could touch on the fact that, you know, it's not only the dudes that go raw because the chicks is letting you go raw. Yes. So how many boy, chicks say? How many chicks say? Oh, I can't use condoms to fuck up my pH balance. How many mm. chicks be like in they brain? I hear chicks I'm say they allergic 
to condoms. I, I heard, heard that. that. Too. That's true. I hear that. The latex. Yes, the latex. they allergic to it. I hear that. I heard chicks. I I know y'all chicks be in your mind like this nigga. I'm getting fucking. He fucking me. Ultimately, a girl knows if she's gonna fuck you or not. So sometimes we play that little game Thank to you. see what you're gonna do. Truth. To see if you're gonna pull one out. And we decide if we're going to use a condom or not. Because if you don't pull one out, then we hit you with the, right before you enter, where's the condom? No, nobody does that. That's the, what are you talking about? You're yeah, girls do that. The people who does that? They wait like, to see the how out. far you're going to go without one. Then I'm not going to fuck you then, stupid. Why would you play? And like then when she one? is ready, she tell you where's the condom. I just said girls decide that. We decide that. We wait and give you a chance to see what you're going to do. Oh, because I get we that. judge you. I get that. We want to see if you're going to get one. I, I thought you was telling And act like you're going to put it on or whatever. Uh, okay. But what about, what about the girls that's just like, nigga, come get it? Then they just don't, they don't get it. Come get it. It is what it is. Come get it. I mean, ain't no judgment here to each his own. But I'm just saying, like we man, decide. Ain't nothing like warm nuts, man. I don't know what y'all talking about. <clears throat> Sometimes they smell sweaty, but you know. It's... I'm talking about busting warm nuts. Oh, warm nuts. Okay. Ass, you mean. Busting warm ass? I, no, I warm nut. It's, it was just you in there and you busting nut. Yeah. Oh, war, oh, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Mm. I got it. I'm a little slow. Mm. Comments yeah. like putting trash in the garbage bag. Oh, ah, that's hysterical. So that means the baby that you had, this was an unplant baby that your oh. main chick had? Oh, my baby's is plant. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because you splacked off this plant. I fucked. Okay, I got it. They plan. Okay. You fuck, they plan. Now, it's unplanned if I'm laying down and my sperm magically <laughs> gets into some vagina or some stupid shit. Now, that's unplanned like a motherfucker. So. Super strong. But if I'm fucking busting that, that shit would be planned, right? Mm. Does that right? really work? Yo, let me tell y'all something. Comment, Comment, share. Yo, this is a dope, dope, interesting episode. This is ill. Shout to Omar for coming through. My brother, O. I'm comedian Marcus McNeil. I'm Bunny, a.k.a. Erica Ocean. Shout out to my guest on the right side. She'll be in the next episode. Thank y'all for tuning in to Bustello Talk. Yeah! See y'all next episode.